Ashe, yeah, yeah. Madison, my Makia, tapping in with some Ashe for your day, baby. So get up in here, friend. Get up in here, friend. Welcome to Witch Wellness TV. So 2023, we opening up Gateway. I just want to share with you guys a witch spell um, created by the goddess, the divine melanin magic author and spiritualist and Oshun high priestess is Lucia Tish. I'm not sure if I pronounce her name right. I'm so sorry if I am overdoing it. And she's the creator of Jambalaya. So I am going to be sharing a spell that she specifically put inside of her book with the collective of my coven who needs more understanding of different forms of black magic. That is a form of white witchcraft. Ashe. Um, and when I say black magic, I mean Afro-Indigenous or black practitioners that are white magic practitioners. Let me see if I'm saying that right. So <laughs> black witches that are using white magic. So not black witches that are practicing black magic. It's black witches that are using white magic. I'll say. But don't get it fucking wrong, honey. We definitely know how to use the black magic to remove and dis regard any kind of demonic and low vibrational energy hexes curses okay don't serve us so the first spell that i want to share with you guys is obviously a cleansing spell this is going to be a spell that you do whenever you want a new energy inside of your home specifically it's a household magic spell so to spiritually cleanse a house you're going to move clockwise and place a teaspoon of salt in all the corners of the house and every single corner even if you have more than four corners in one single room hit every single corner beginning at the front door and ending at the back you want to sprinkle bay rum on the tip of a broom or if you have vodka or uh, florida water you're gonna want to sprinkle at the end of the broom and kind of beat the top of the walls and the corners of every single room um you can do like a floor wall i mean a um, a door wash if you'd like as well but the broom is gonna kind of set the intention then you want to move counterclockwise and pick up all the salt from the count the corners and flush it down the toilet you can leave this the the salt in each of the corners for a monthly cycle or for a zodiac cycle so if you're going based off the first and the last of the month or you're going based off the start and the end of a zodiac um, or you can just cleanse the house whenever you feel like you just had a big argument, there is some kind of dramatic experience, and you just need to cleanse out the energy. So say you and your boyfriend just got in a big-ass argument, a big-ass um, fight, what you're going to want to do is pick up all that salt and then flush it down the toilet and put new salt around the home. What that's going to do is just repurify and cleanse the house from that argument you guys had. So what you're going to do after that is mop the floors in a solution of either Florida water, essential oils, uh, vodka, soap. You can do bleach if you like. Um, what you really want to do is add different things to your um, floor wash, your door wash, to really bring in the abundance or remove away the evil. So if you're removing away negative vibes, what you're going to want to do is put rosemary, um, cayenne pepper, ginger garlic cloves inside of the floor wash to help remove that energy away from you cinnamon sticks frankincense or myrrh um pieces inside of that to help remove the vibes or if you want to bring in some good energy say you want some new dick some new love some romance to be a fiance you're going to put rose quartz crystals in the floor wash you're going to put in um five coins whether it's pennies or nickels um you're going to put rose essential oil lavender essential oils so this is going to bring calmingness happiness fertility you could put in a fake ring from dollar tree not dollar tree um that uh, the thrift store that you ain't got a little fake diamond ring and you put it in there and that's bringing the intention of marriage commitment um what you want to do to make it really hoodoo voodoo very witchy is put your urine inside of the motherfucking floor wash yes friend yes friend yes 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 i said it you gonna pee in a floor wash if you want to get really cute you can pee in a cup like when you go to the doctors and then measure out how much you're putting inside your floor wash so that you're not overdoing it and then your whole house just smells like urine and it just it's just too much right so you want to measure it out make sure that you put a little bit of the urine sample inside of the floor wash or if you want to squat over the bowl and clean space you can do that um and then what you want to do after you do your floor wash 
is if your home is also your place of business, you want to add coins, um, add your business card to the actual floor wash, and this is going to help to increase more abundance as well as some cinnamon sticks. And as you are mopping the floor, you want to speak life into the house. So do this in each and every room. Speak a certain positive mantra. When I'm doing my floor washes or door washes, I'm always speaking certain words, like bullet points that I'm just speaking out loud. So I'm like purification, positivity, love, light, happiness, orgasms. Some people can say a full sentence. You guys can make up your own mantras or affirmations. Um, the last thing you're gonna do is light a peace candle whether it's blue or white and put it at the front of the door and what you want to do is reclaim your space with peace and positivity and telling the spirits that you're only inviting light energy purification energy and cleansing energy into your home if you want to get deeper you can put a picture of Papa Ilegua Eshu at the door you can put a picture of Pomba Gira. you can put a picture of Saint Michael one of the archangels so witchcraft is a form of you connecting to all of the spiritualities as well not having spiritual gatekeeping ship over them but utilizing them in different ways um but we are in a form in an age of reclaiming witchcraft and we're not scared because you're not going to burn us at the motherfucking stake you're the least you can do is just be a hater so mm, sorry sucks for you but um yeah that is the spell that i have for you guys today so witch wellness is thankful that you're tapping in and tuning in for witch wellness tv this is a spell on how to cleanse your home if you're a beginner witch if you are a spiritualist or a doula a reiki healer a regular student a mom like whatever you do this is a beautiful ritual of cleansing your home that's going to bring in good vibes abundance and wellness into your life blessed be if you want to follow me on social media get more connected go ahead and head over to instagram at medicine mama kia at the witch wellness shop underscore at sacred sister circles and you can hit us up on tiktok um at the witch wellness shop underscore if you want to follow us on um what is it i can't remember tiktok facebook instagram all of it we're all there we're everywhere we're everywhere we also have a podcast on spotify so if you'd like to listen we're on season four and this is um a series called yoni conversations where i sit down with queer and different women of different spiritual and ethic backgrounds where i learn about their womb wellness story and we have a yoni conversation with their womb and we kind of just let their womb speak about everything that has been going through that it needs resources for and to so thank you for existing and supporting me and my holistic healing journey my name is madison mama kia and i love you all blessings ashay